I run. I wasn't paying attention probably to where the cursor was placed when I created the ring. Even though I can swear that I chose fireball ring. Oh my god. Well, maybe this time I can get a jump from the Sahagan. <sighs> Looks like a selected feather. Before I selected feather, I don't have a PS4 controller ready to go. I'll, I'm, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Um, before I selected the feather rings, or the feather gems, did I select m the fireball ring, or did I select an attribute ring? Or this time, you know what could actually save a lot of time is if the first mosquito kill gives me feather and glowing. That could save a lot of time. You see what happened? What happens? I overwrote wind cutter with earth heal instead of fireball. Wow, really? Wow, that's a bad error. King, huh? Best of luck to you. Hey, be careful out there. But how did I still have fireball if I if I overwrote? I, wait, I used a magic ring to make wind cutter, and then I overrode wind cutter with earth and never touched fireball. Wow, that's that's really bad. I'm gonna have to be way slower in that menu tomorrow. I use a blank ring for wind cutter. Mm, okay, well thank you for checking. That's that's a bad mistake right there. I don't even remember doing that. Going too fast. Did I still speedrun Dark Cloud? Not right now. Mostly because that speedrun is like nine hours with no breaks and my uh, my back probably can't handle nine hours straight with no breaks right now. It defaults to top, I think. I don't think it has cursor memory. Never glowing, never lucky. But I ever tried Dark Cloud 2. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but I'm not in love with Dark Cloud 2 the way that I am Dark Cloud 1. Uh, no gem. Okay. My luck ran out. If this guy didn't drop a leaf gem, by the way, it would have been a reset. I think. Actually, no. You know what? I only need one leaf gem. I don't even need a second one. What am I doing? Because I get waterfall gem, so I could do leaf waterfall. Yeah, I did not need to do those two kills. That was 10 seconds slower because of it. The original version of Skies of Arcadia for 300? The Dreamcast version? I wasn't even aware that game was going for that much to begin with. Really, at that point, I'd say, why not just get the Legends version? Um, I have barely touched that game, so I can't really say. I tried it back in the day, wasn't too into it, but I plan on revisiting it one of these days. Try it again. Okay. Please get a replacement from Wallace at the warehouse. He's in charge of supplies. 
We're gonna need a completed run soon though, because I can't stream all night. This is a weapon request for. So the next attempt or two is is gonna be pretty important here. At least I've managed to kill my run in a different way every time. We have no idea what it's like inside. Oh, I didn't know that the encounters were toned down in Dreamcast version. Yeah, I mean, um, GameCube version. Yeah, that's that's reason enough alone, right? Nobody likes high encounter rates in turn-based random encounter games. It's like the worst. Alright, we haven't been here yet tonight. Let's see what awaits us. How are they going tonight? The runs are actually going very nicely. Until I make a fatal error every time and kill the run. But every time the pace has been quite good. The furthest I've got so far tonight is up against the giant cockatrice. Who then proceeded to murder me. That's about 45 minutes in. All right, jump. You know you wanna. Nice, okay. That speeds this up quite a bit. One, two, three. That jump is completely random, by the way. Whether or not they choose to do it. Yeah, I mean, if you're dropping that much money on an RPG, you might as well pick one you know you're going to be really happy with. Almost made this mistake again. Come on, please let this one be the run. I would love a new PB. Get rid of that awful 120. Get in the realm of at least sub 115 or something. I mean, it's if I finish a run, it will be a PB. It's just a matter of finishing the run. There's no question it'll be PB if I don't die. The perfect timing on that. Thank you, Brandon, for the gem at 10 bits. Just as I killed the boss. By the way, we have a, uh, a glowing emote. There, there it is, Kraid. If you're on PC, if you're not on mobile, I don't think there's a way to see it on mobile yet. But if you're on PC... Oh, look at that time save from the jump from the Sahagan. Nice. If you're on PC, you can see the new glowing gem emote.
Maybe you're better off getting three $100 RPGs instead of one $300 RPG. Evil Within. I tried playing the first game a few years ago. It, From what I can recall, my memory's a little vague on it. Um, I didn't love that game. It was also kind of long. I wish it was a little shorter. I didn't finish it because of that. I wanted to move on to something else that October. Um, but yeah, I can barely remember. I mean, I played it, but my memory is very foggy on that game, which might say something about it. I don't remember it being super scary either. From what I remember. I wonder if I can fall off there. I always wonder. Yeah, I want to play Ease 8 before I play Ease 9. Like, if I play another Ease game, it's going to be 8. From what I saw of that game, it looks so good. I don't know why I always get stuck here. I don't know if there's a way not to get stuck there, honestly. No kill. Oh, by the way, I was talking about it the other day. I don't know if any of you, or yesterday actually, I don't know if any of you are fans of the show Black Summer on Netflix, but I watched a few episodes of that yesterday. Nowhere near as good as season one. I'm actually kind of disappointed in it. Some people seem to love it. It's way more action heavy, but nowhere near as good as season one. Still highly recommend season one if you're a fan of the uh, zombies still, though. It's quite good. Season two. Disappointing. Did you make it up to episode 4 yet, Craig? Or Craig. Craig? <laughs> yeah. Well, the funny thing is if you watch season 2, the name of the show is actually kind of, uh, kind of weird. But I won't spoil anything. Episode 7. Yeah, it's, it's a great show. It's it's definitely a love or hate kind of show, but if you like it, you tend to love it, and I love that show. It's good. Just be prepared for Season 2 to be way different. That's all I'll say. 
but you may like it more. But the thing that made Season 1 special... They took away that special something in Season 2 for me. Yeah, that's one of the best cutscenes. The dialogue... <laughs> the dialogue in that is classic. See, that's why I always get confused, though. Weapon... Here's the thing about weapons. When you equip a weapon, it appears on the right-hand side of your screen. When you equip rings, they appear on the left-hand side of your screen, I think. So it's, like, backwards and strange. Alright, let's see if they'll bless me with another quick kill for the werewolf. Ooh, I almost had a perfect alignment there. What I try and do there is align my camera right where the cutscene starts, so that way it doesn't have to pan at all. I almost had a perfect one. And... he's running right. I was hitting the wrong buttons. Nice. We got another quick kill. I asked for it, and I received it. So yeah, he starts moving before I even gain control of my character, so it is completely random, by the way. Like, I have no influence over where he runs. Alright, we, we got a good run. We had a Sahagan jump, we had a quick kill werewolf. Um, those two things do not happen in the record for this game, by the way, just throwing that out there. So like, if I was better at the run for this, this would be already on world record pace. Because the record fight against the wolf was not very good. Alright, let's not screw up the rings again. Alright, so it is feather glowing on fire ring. Wait, feather... yes, feather glowing or feather feather. On fireball. And then leaf waterfall. Be very careful here. Honestly, I've seen a lot of people get into Skyrim as like a gateway into the fantasy RPG. If he likes d and I have a feeling he might like Skyrim. Especially if he doesn't really play many RPGs. That's a good one to start him with. I've seen a lot of people's parents get into that game and they normally don't play games. Alright, I gotta focus here. Fireball. Feather. Glowing. It's a little slower than it should be, but I wanted to be sure. I wonder if using Waterfall instead of a second Leaf Gem is gimping the magic power. Like, I wonder if it makes my stat lower. If I use two Leaf Gems, would that give me better Earth magic power than using Leaf and Waterfall? I have no idea, actually. I don't know if that's a thing. It won't vary based on gems. Okay, good to know. I mean, Godzilla on PS4 is always readily available. Um, it's just a matter of getting one on a good price. All right, I've seen them as cheap as like 250 now, which is cheaper than what they used to be about six to eight months ago. Ooh, 
I almost walked right off the edge there. Okay, don't kill a butterfly above the water. Wings. Two wings. Good. That means no extra kills will be needed. And I once again forgot the backup item for your paralysis every run tonight. I just don't think about it. Because normally it's not part of the route. Was I, I, I've always been interested in EVE Online, but I've never wanted to actually play it. Like, that game is so intimidating. I'm fascinated by that game and its community and, like, the news stories I read on it, but... I've come close in the past to, like, trying it, but... Yeah. Like, watched a couple of videos on it and whatnot, but yeah, I, I would never play EVE Online. That's like a life commitment, that game. You don't play EVE Online. EVE Online plays you, right? Like, that's the kind of game it is. Oh yeah, let's not get turned around here. That'll be good. Oh yeah, let's let's also not do that. Like last time. A documentary about Eve? I would watch it. I mean I have no intention of playing Eve. Oh you fucker. Heal, heal, heal. Oh my god. No! Oh my god. Wow, I almost got sniped dead right there. I was one tick away from death from poison. God, those guys, sometimes they just... You can't dodge their ray. That was super scary. It would have been a new way to die tonight, though. Would have been a new way to die. Hmm. Is my wind magic... Weaker than normal? Normally he does with two wind cutters. Yeah, Eve is the kind of game I'm fascinated about learning about, but not actually playing. And I don't think you want me to get addicted to Eve. You actually want me to try Eve and get addicted? <laughs> That would be the end of variety streams at that point. I played Deep Fear years ago. I didn't finish it because I felt that it was a funny survival horror game, but I felt the gameplay in that game was really repetitive and monotonous. I didn't enjoy playing it. I enjoyed the experience of playing Deep Fear. I did not enjoy anything beyond the funny cutscenes.
There's that level up. If I would have got hit by that other monkey's slingshot thing, uh, the run would have been dead. I would have died. I got lucky there. It's actually one of the hardest attacks to dodge in the game right there for some reason. Well, the thing about downloading EVE and just trying it, I think that's like... You're probably committing to a few weeks of just trying to learn the game and watching tutorials at that point. I don't think you could just download and play that game. Like, you, you gotta do some preparation. Oh, believe me, you're not the only one. Tons of people mix up the stream title of this game with Elden Ring. It's very easy to, to mistake it. Also, I forgot to split. There we go. Alright, let's not... Let's not do what I did last time. Alright, let's get this. Rats, cooperate, please. Apparently I messed that up a bit in my PB. Alright, winged, winged, cloudy. Oh shit! No! Oh my god! Controller! Yeah, this has got to change for tomorrow. Holy crap! <laughs> winged, winged, cloudy. I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. I think I'm still gonna opt for the safe wind cutter tactic on this enemy over here. The Ninja Senki game? Yeah, it was okay. I, I wasn't super hot into it. But I'm glad you're enjoying it. If I get hit by that little ball, I get silenced, by the way, in case you're wondering. 
so if I get hit by that, I'm dead. A lot of, I mean, rule, you know, the rule here is if I get hit by anything in this game and I'm dead. Okay, the rats seem like they're in a decent spot. I think that might work. I, I kind of hear one of them sneaking out, though. That's bad. Abandoned PS5 app is? I don't, I don't even know what the heck that is. I haven't been keeping up with whatever that is. Sounds like a Quiet Man 2 experiment. Alright, I gotta focus here. Gonna go for the boss skip. Oh, what, what am I doing? Why, why do I do that? I always think I'm like exiting somewhere. See if I can get the rats to push me through the wall. Nope. I don't think enough rats were in there. I think some of them escaped. That means we're doing the boss. Man, I was so lucky on that first run of the day where I actually... Uh, actually got that skip like what the heck I was so lucky all right remember strafe I have to strafe if I don't strafe I'm dead Oh, Abandon is the Kojima cons Conspiracy game or something? Okay, I haven't looked into that. Man, skipping these cutscenes in that fight sure would be nice. The only downside is... Don't get the experience. Hey, thank you, Nakarashi. Thank you for the half a year. Thank you very much. Still not bad. Alright. A moment of truth. Also, I need to get lucky with gems. Got a good kill on that guy. Hey, ooh, we got a lava and a tornado gem. Good start. We moved out of it. Okay, good. Also, I have to make sure I don't run into my own tornado. Oh my god, we got the, the god luck. We just got tornado. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, no. I came prepared for this. Wait, it didn't get rid of my paralysis? That's not the right item? What the fuck? I thought that was for paralysis. No! Oh my word. This is bad. Hold on. Ugh. No! <laughs> Hopefully I'm hitting him. Oh my god. The run might just be over now. I can't believe it. No! I can't get rid of this paralysis. It's so hard to dodge. Oh my god. 
What the heck? I thought that golden egg thing got rid of paralysis. And I didn't even get a gem for that. Not good, not good. This is really bad. What the heck? I'm gonna have to research into how to get rid of paralysis if I get hit by it. Um, what do I have? I'm wasting time checking this. Flame, lava, tornado, feather. I should be fine. I don't think I have to kill that guy. I'm not gonna kill him, I gotta try and save that time back. I'm risking the death of the run here if I don't have the gems I need, though. Also, I should not have that other ring equipped. That's screwing with my menuing. Hello? That was scary. If I get hit by that thing, I'm also one-shotted. I'm gonna try and lure this guy out. I don't want to fight him. Oh shit. Shoot, 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 shoot! Oh my god, I forgot I had heal equipped and not wind cutter. This run is giving me way more heart attacks than it should be. was that? I was just mashing X. I've, I've never actually walked away from his cutscene before. <laughs> wow, that's new. Maybe my controller was drifting and it was moving me away. Wow, I've never seen that before. I didn't know you can walk out of that cutscene. Cockatrice feather heals paralysis and the other... Man, and I was picking those up. Alright, that's good to know. I, I got it confused with the golden egg. I forget what the golden egg does. Oh, Golden Egg Cure Silence, maybe? Alright, good. Well, there's two Cockatrice Feathers I can pick up that aren't too far out of the way. Which I'm definitely going to pick up for future runs. Maybe i got to unplug my PS5 controller. Maybe that's causing drift. Ooh, my god, that is scary. By the way, you get hit by the flame, you're dead. I think that fire dragon has completely lost his human con- I, I, My name is Lila. Lila Sadden. I am the- I'm your- If he- Move. It's dangerous. Um Alright, I have a feather gem, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, we're good. Cure's curse. I don't even think I get cursed in this run. Oh shoot. Another part of this run I haven't even gotten to tonight is the the library. Oh boy, I'm gonna be a little rusty on that. Alright, it's almost time for my revenge on the giant rainbow shooting cockatrice. The first thing that killed a really good run tonight. However, this run is better, I think. I think this pace is better. 
No safety saves. Yeah, I've got to remember to put that in my notes to pick up for tomorrow's run. I shall that submit. Okay, feather, tornado, tornado. I shall pass down the knowledge of the and I don't have to equip this because I already have it equipped. All right. Will I get hit by him is the question. I think I'm going to opt for the charge at him method. Uh, charge at him while trying to dodge. I think. Do I actually want to do that? Or do I want to hang back? Man. Now I'm conflicted. I think I'm gonna go f oh, Man, I don't know. I don't know which one to do. Oh, shit. Okay. Ooh, that was so close. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. Oh, my God. Shoot. Shoot again. Oh, Jesus, that nearly gave me a heart attack. I hope I remember my way through here. It's been a bit. This is a very scary area that I can instantly die on. Oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Those things deal a ton of damage. Almost there. Uh, oh, no, not that way. We go this way. Alright, last major dodge. Coming up right around this corner. Don't hit me, please. I was ready with that heal. That area is is really scary. All right, we need to hit our tornadoes. This is very important. Got to do a very specific tornado placement here. Good. I checked. I if I wanted to save a little time, I wouldn't turn around to see if I'm hitting him. Those are not super easy kills, by the way. Like, you need specific placement to hit them like that and kill them. Otherwise, you have to shoot them in the air. Which is very slow. Alright, I'm going into this blind. I definitely don't remember specifically where I need to go here, so... Uh... Yeah, I think this is the only way. I'd rather not look at my notes for this. Try to shoot him through the bookcase. And hello, Bandersnatch. Don't know if I said hello, I forgot. Welcome in. I 
I don't remember if I'm supposed to go this way or the other way, to be honest. So this could be the slow long way out, I'm not sure. Maybe the other way is a dead end. But I'd rather not waste time trying to read as I do this. Okay. I think that was the only way. Alright, next one I need to equip Wind Cutter. The first the first gargoyle here will die instantly from Wind Cutter. Also, if I would have mistakenly kept moving forward there, I would uh I would die. Good, all blind kills. Very nice. Alright, this area is way more relaxed than the previous one. It's just a lot of fairies flying around. I could shoot them and try and get some MP back, but if I miss, it wastes a lot of MP. So I may opt not to go for that. Yeah, they weren't in my direct line of sight, so... No thanks. Got that one, though. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, yeah, this way. Almost made a mistake there. That one was just begging to be killed. As was that one. Alright, that was clean. In case you're wondering, you have to destroy all the gargoyles on top of those tombs, otherwise you can't ride the final elevator here at the bottom. All right, we're officially getting into the end game stuff now. I might use the water dragon as a quick break. It's a three minute cutscene. Lost two seconds. My PB was pretty good, apparently, there. Alright, we're about to be really rude to Lila. You're safe. I'm so glad you're okay. Thank you. I'm all alone here. I'm sorry. It's a long story. It is a long story, and I don't have time for it. Oh no! Oh no, I wasn't I wasn't supposed to mash on her. Uh-oh, she's giving me the lore. Okay, that lost a few seconds. I was supposed to listen to when she said it's a long story and then back away. Luckily, it let me go through it fast. Otherwise, I could have lost my run to her lore. 
Imagine if they wouldn't let me skip her dialogue and it was all voice acted. Hey, at least this time I let her tell her story. Normally I just turn her around and run away. Alright, I'm gonna get my webcam ready for my break. Whoops. Because this cutscene is 3 minutes and 20 seconds. And I'm gonna use that as a quick break. The dragon is very long winded. Alright, I'll be right back. You guys got all that right. There's a quiz at the end of the stream on the story. I have told to oh man. Hey, what's up, Gungi? Hello, Nick Rammer. Seems even longer when you actually take a break during it and come back and it's still going. It feels so long. <laughs> it doesn't feel that long when I sit here watching it. Alright, so next we gotta kill the dragon. I don't know how my PB fight was with that. And then snow skip. If I get snow skip immediately, that'll probably save me about a minute and a half, two minutes. Also, let me. I should have actually brought this up while I was doing this. The directions. Because I forget. No, actually, no, I remember. First one, you go left outside. This is the first run tonight that has made it here, so. I 
Even though, even if they go the opposite direction, I, I don't think it's much of a difference. Careful not to cut those corners too tight. Fall down. Um, I think it is left, but honestly, it doesn't matter if you go right, does it? Maybe it doesn't matter. No, yeah, it's no problem. I, I was super rusty coming back to this too, to be honest. Alright, uh, Vortex. And let's hope we get some good RNG here. So he can Wing Flap, which is bad, waste time. Or he can Tornado, which is good because it lets me hit him. And then where he comes up, which corner he comes up is, is random. We hope for the... We hope for the same corner. Of course. So we got bad RNG to start. Oh shit! Okay. I didn't want that to hit me. Actually, we're gonna play this safe. Of course. Wow, this is a terrible fight, holy moly. Nice. Kill on the way down. Yeah, that is true. I didn't think about that, actually. Having the, the stats to not die against this guy. Otherwise, I would have been dead. Alright, well, we survived. That's good. Even though that was a terrible fight. Um, the question is, do I safety save... For snow skip, I don't think I do. No, we don't. Oh shoot! Okay, no, we're good. We're good. That wasn't much damage. I get so scared because a lot of times when you get hit by something in this game, you like almost instantly die. All right, so it's like kind of scary. I think that's what you had in your record, actually. I think he, uh, he came up the same corner. Okay, that's... that's scary. Man. Okage has a lot of issues, yes. Okay, I have to focus here. I'm not going to be looking at chat until I'm done with this area. It's the hardest part of the run. And it's my first time tonight doing it, so I'm going to be rusty. We got it. Okay, don't fucking screw this up. I think it's just this way. Yep. 
There it is. And then... Come on! What? Okay. Uh, go back east. Gotta look at the lid, that's the target area for opening. I see. Oh shit. I lost? Wait, maybe I split... Excuse me. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't split Tower of Storms. Okay, don't lose focus. Don't worry about the splits. We don't need to see how far ahead I am. <sighs> I hope I can remember where to fall. I hope. I can lose the run by falling off a cliff here. Um, by the way, that was perfect snow skip. Like, actually perfect. I, I got it first try with the griffin. You you can't ask for anything better. That was as good as it can get. And I, I didn't have to overuse any magic for healing. or no, Nothing. No sacrifice ring. Like, that was actually perfect. That's the best one I've ever had. Yeah, and the tunnel lead up. Yeah, even that part was... Uh, you couldn't get it better. I'm very proud of that. Alright, here we go. Focus time. Oh, I forgot about this part. Okay. The calm before the storm. I can still die against the two bosses that are coming too. Uh, I think I have everything mapped the way I want it. Yeah, the sweet spot where it's low enough. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, honestly, I would prefer not to even get that. Because the thought of going and, like, getting there and not being able to open it and then having to do it, like... But, I, I, yeah, I see what you mean. I forgot all about that. I've gotten that a couple times, but it's, it's really hard. I don't even aim high. I just go for it, and whatever I get, I get. All right, good cutscenes incoming. All I want is a decent run before this run tomorrow. Still many ways for this to die, though. Okay, so it's left, right side, left side, I think, right? I, I jump off the right. No, I jump off the left, then I do the right, then I do the left, yes. Left, right, left. Um, what do you think I should do against the final boss? Should I stand still at the beginning to to avoid the lightning, or what do you typically do? Do you remember? Do you move for the chance that he casts lightning? Like, what do you do? Because lightning is like insta death. I still have sacrifice ring, which that's big. That that's that's very helpful. It looks like someone's here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's him. Listen, I'm gonna go look, but don't try to get out. I can tell because you're shaking. All right. There's three things that can kill the run here. 
well, four if you count the enemies in this area. But we're, we're almost there. Oh my god, if I PB on this, that snow skip is going to be a actual nightmare to run against. Wow, that's going to be a nightmare. Alright, here we go. Get my heal equipped. Scary enemy part is over. Okay, right side. If you miss that jump, it's instant death. The run is over. One more jump. Uh, I think this one is here, yes. Come on, controller. Man, my, I don't know why my PS5 controller is doing that. Oh, I got to equip Vortex. Alright. Second to last thing that can kill the run. I shouldn't make a mistake here, though. As long as I don't get too close to him. Oh my god, I fucking let go of my stick to stop strafing. Not good. Ugh, I didn't know that was an insta-kill. I did that to hit the button to refill my magic. Alright, I'm gonna have to change my grip on my controller from now on on this. That's... That's bad. That means I can insta-die on the final boss now. <sighs> Not good. I had that safety net of sacrifice, and now I don't. I'm just gonna play it extra safe and target the balls. Take the balls out. No lightning, please. No lightning. No lightning. Please. Lightning can kill me instantly. Okay, no lightning. Take these freaking balls out first. Can I fall off the ledge here? Come on. How is that not hitting? Do I not have Seek on? God. Did 
think that's it. Alright, we're home free. That was... that was bad. I couldn't hit those balls. Hey, but we got a good PB. Almost to my target time of sub-110. Finally, we did a run. <laughs> so many... so many failed runs tonight. The God's child oh my god, these animated emotes are crazy. The eternal cage will soon fall. Vortex might turn a bit slow at Seek. Yeah, it was it wasn't feeling good, I'll tell you that. Do you think I'm better off switching to um wind cutter there? Do you think? Your job here is done. Just just for that and then switch back to Vortex to take out Solus. You think you step back? Thank you for the twenty months. Thanks for the uh, the GGs. Yeah, I think I just gotta get better with aiming with uh, with Vortex. But now, my strat will be if I get to this point in the run and I'm behind, I'm just gonna YOLO Solus. I'm not even gonna worry about the orbs, I'm just gonna go all in. Well, that's good. That is a way more respectable time than what I had before. That's no skip, though. Wow. That's that's gonna be something to run against. Well, at least I, um, you know, I'm actually glad that I died against uh, what's his name with that that wind attack he did, wasting my sacrifice ring because now I know tomorrow I'm gonna have that in my mind. Do not let my finger slip when I'm trying to use a magic regen item. Just gotta change the grip on my controller. Because if I die there, I have to do snow skip again. Lila. However, I think for the marathon, I honestly think for the marathon, I will save again after snow skip. I'll take that 45 second time loss, whatever it would be, to not have to do that again. Absolutely. Anyway, I'm very happy with that run. I'm actually very happy with that. It was good. Lila. A lot of things went wrong. Um, no boss skip, no Daryl skip. I, I've had it once. I'm not really sure. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to that skip. I just hope the rats push me through the corner. That's all I can do. Lila. Yeah, this is no Daryl skip. My first run of the day, I had Daryl skip, but I just, I didn't even know that was a thing. Like back when I was running it before, I don't even think any of us were doing it. I started practicing it today. And I've had it about three or four times now out of practice. And in my first run of the day, I actually had it. But I died to the cock. A trees. Come on, Lila. How long have you been lying there? So if the rats get completely stacked on top of one another into one unit of rats, I find that it never works then, right? Is that correct? Do they always have to be separated? I watched your run. You approach the wall. You stare at the wall in front of you for like half a second and then you turn and face the corner and you get pushed out and when I did that when I did that it works sometimes if the rats are in a good position Lila? Come on, Lila. rip Lila by the way Lila. also for any of you that have not seen this end cutscene before you're in for a treat There's two places for Daryl Skip. So the one in the room with the rats in the corner, is that is that the the first one you try or is that the backup? I assume that's the first. Hmm. I'd be curious to see what the backup is. I think I would try that skip in the marathon, and if it doesn't work, I'll just do the boss. Especially if the other one is risky for death. 
You can unbunch them on the swordsman's corpse in the next room. A few days later, Kane Morgan returned to the Hungarian royal palace. Wait, so you can bring them into the next room and they'll actually go back into the previous room? Wouldn't they stay outside of that room? Kane, unfortunately, could only report the Interesting. research team, including its... Yeah, I mean, my plans tomorrow are to, to try the rat skip once. The if it fails, I just do the boss. the leader of the knights, stirred up controversy throughout the kingdom. It was the opinion of many that the elders should take responsibility for his death. And through you can get out of bounds from the swordsman's said, corpse room. The people who were loyal to King Ian... Interesting. To regain a great measure of but then at that point, like, if you fail that one too, then the run is over, right? Unless that one's really easy to do. Yeah, if there's if there's a video of that backup strat, I'd love to see that. Interesting. I'll have to practice that before tomorrow. Actually, I could practice it right now. I could try Man, if I can get a snow skip like that tomorrow, whew, that is the one part of the run I'm very worried about. The man who had arrived in Hungaria with Cain left following the death of King Ian, but it is said that time itself, not even the passing of decades, could change his appearance. My favorite PS2 launch game. Um. Honestly, that would be a close one between Dynasty Warriors 2 and Summoner. I enjoyed both of those a lot. Summoner was so epic to me for a console game. But I think I ultimately ended up enjoying Dynasty Warriors 2 the most. A very fun game, launch game. <sighs> Good run. Happy with that. Improvable, too. Lots can be improved. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to ask you, Gungi. Um, on the way back through the Water Temple, like, coming back through it, I've had the Sahagin jump the second time. But if I get out of bounds there, I actually don't know where to go. Do you think it's worth getting... If he jumps and I get out of bounds, is it worth missing all the experience and stuff I'd get from killing the enemies on the way out? Like, do you know how much time that saves if you get out of bounds with a jump? Included. The problem is, if I get out of bounds there, I've never seen somebody do that because I wouldn't know what direction to go. I wouldn't know what to do. 